Hey, welcome back to the channel, BSers. Just a quick reminder, I am giving away this drone. All you gotta do to enter the giveaway is like, comment, subscribe. You can get an additional entry by referring to uh, another subscriber. Just have them comment your username on any of my videos, and I'll get your name in there for a second go at this drone. Uh, this is my third giveaway so far. Um, it's my most expensive giveaway. Um, as long as my channel keeps progressing, it's done pretty good so far. It's still young, but, you know, I have hopes. Um... We will continue doing these giveaways, and I'll just keep doing better and better ones. So stay tuned, stick around, there'll be more to come. Alright guys, just a little bit prior to this video, I had actually just finished off my uh, getting my level 3 calls and uh, finishing up those uh, 30 animals killed and sold. Uh, so I have my level 3 calls, which means I can call in some trophy animals now, and that's exactly what I'm looking to do. Um, coming up here, uh, Nez Perez. Uh, early location just north of the original cabin um, stumbled upon I was looking for moose I wanted to get a five-star moose but I happened to just stumble upon this guy five-star whitetail alright let's get him called in so we can't continue going straight at him because our windage is blowing he's gonna smell us so we do have to change our position here and we're gonna go around through these trees and come around and uh, come directly behind him that way our wind is blowing right to left as opposed to aft forward directly at him. So our windage position is now fixed. Um, we're right behind him now. He should be right down in the river. There he goes right there. Alright, so this is perfect. 140 yards. Wind is great, right to left. We're going to go ahead and start calling them in. Got them level 3 calls. Trophy buck grunt, track high fitness males. And he's already turning around. This is great, it's awesome. I'm getting chills because this is the first time I'm calling in a 5 star and I'm just looking forward to uh, get him on the wall. Just trying to inch forward here and get a little bit better position to where, you know, he's not coming in from behind this bush. That way we get a good view on him. He's coming up the uh, side of this bank here of this riverbed. Should get a good view. You know, I love calling in these animals, getting them in real close, and getting that really close-up footage, because they did put a lot of work on these guys. I do think they put uh, more detail than uh, Call of the Wild did. Um, so, to see the detail up close is great. Um, I am looking forward to them bringing out the bows. Uh, that's going to be a game-changer for this game. If they would just throw in some tents, like uh, Way the Hunter, or sorry, Call of the Wild, then... I don't know that I would ever go back, to be honest. Sounds like we got a moose next to us, which is what we were originally coming for, but there ain't no way I'm going to be distracted from this five-star white cell right now. We'll take a look at that moose later on. I know that there's a big moose. I actually came here specifically because this is a frequently used uh, drinking area for moose, and... Uh, one of my last clips that I showed, a big moose almost hit me when I was driving the Jeep, was right here. So I was coming back, it's been a few days, I was going to take a look at him and see if he had uh, ranked up at all. Alright, here he comes, you can start seeing him come past this bush. Alright. <laughs> he looks like a beast. What a hog. Jeez. Look at that rack. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, great for me, buddy. And he's down. We got him. I've noticed that you can actually kick the animals around a little bit now to kind of change up. Close your mouth. Jesus. You can kind of kick them around now to kind of change up uh, and try to get a better photo of them, but it doesn't change the fact that their antler still sticks all the way in the ground. Or horn or whatever it is for the animal that you killed. But, uh, yeah, they need to fix that. But you can try to kick them around as best you can. It's a lot of work. 
You're never going to get that antler out of the ground, though. So we're not even going to bother getting a photo with him. It looks kind of hokey with just one antler. Perfect hard shot. Twenty Less than 25 yards. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a bow. Give me a bow. All right, what's your rating? Five stars, 91%. 390 pound whitetail. That's what I'm talking about. Taxidermy. That's what's up. Get you them level three calls.